Yo, what is up guys? So I'm back with another video back at the store. Um, today though, I'm not going to be doing a day in the life, but instead I'm going to be talking about kind of fanatics and obviously they're taking over in a few years for sports cards and they made a few big announcements recently. So I figured I'd just go through those announcements to tell you guys in case you missed it. Um, but first, let me show you some of the new stuff that we got in the store. Okay guys, so we haven't gotten too much new wax recently. I guess the newest would be the Topps Finest Baseball, which we've almost sold out of. It's a... Uh, two autographs per master box seems like too many boxes inside um and yeah i think that's pretty much it. i don't know if i showed the select h2 last time you got that as well spectra asia we still got some bowman inception but i think that's it for new cards uh new boxes sorry but like i said we always have lots of new cards that we're putting out so i just got the stack that i gotta do in the next hour or so got a nice jack hughes auto in there that i priced out yesterday when i worked um but yeah that is pretty much it for like all the new uh the new boxes and the cards that I got to price out. So yeah, let's get right into the video of the updates uh, for Fanatics. Okay, so obviously what I feel um, with Fanatics coming into the hobby is that it is definitely good for the hobby. Um, with the big boom and the new generation joining, the hobby definitely needed kind of a reboot or a change. Um, I believe shows are good. There's a lot of big shows that are good, but I feel like they could be better. Um, and I think that Fanatics with their connections and their other business ventures will help expand this uh, hobby farther, will bring new people in, will kind of make the hobby more modern and go away from just the simple shows where um, you show up as a bunch of dealers in a row, make it more, uh, more often events, make it more um, engaging for the people there. And there's nothing against the shows. That, there's the shows that I grew up going to and I love them, but I feel like you could also have that and something new that will create, like I said, more engagement for the people joining. And another big announcement that Fanatics made is that they're gonna be releasing this app um, where people can join breaks, uh, see updates, join live events. And I just think this is gonna be better because it kind of, it focuses everything in when it comes to breaking and makes people that wanna join the hobby um, kind of stay in the hobby because there's so many different breakers breaking so many different things Obviously there's backyard. There's latent sports cards. There's I think it's Jaspies is another big one There's vortex. There's so many and I think with this um, with this app people can kind of just come on and they can all be there and you can Find the breaks that you want to join very easily You can hear about new events happening new shows and yeah I think this is just gonna be very good um, for the hobby very good for people joining and there's only positives when it comes to this app Okay guys, so the second thing that Fanatics is going to be doing is they're going to be regulating breaking. This is all going to be done through their app, as I mentioned before, um, but pretty much they're kind of changing the way breaking is to get it away from the extreme gambling aspect. It still is gambling because you never know what you're going to hit. You could buy a spot for 400 bucks and you could hit $10,000 in cards or you could hit $20 in cards, especially when you break boxes like these that cost $700 per box and there's only, how many cards are in here? Like there's 144 cards in here. So if there's a 30 team break, it's kind of hard sometimes to make money on every single team. So I think what Fanax is gonna to try to do is try to make it more regulated so there's less scamming and there's more of a chance for people to make money um, in all kinds of breaks. Cause obviously on their app, like I said, there's going to be a variety of breaks. Like I said, this just takes away the gambling aspect. So I really like what Fanatics is doing with this. Um, I think it would definitely make it easier for people and make it less complicated when it comes to people joining uh, first time breaks and people who just break all the time. It just makes it so much easier. And these regulations are going to affect a lot of breakers, unfortunately, um, but it's also going to save a lot of people from losing money. And I think that's the biggest thing in the hobby because if people are constantly losing money, they're not going to stay in the hobby. And I know breaking, you're not gonna make money every single time, but with these regulations, it just makes it easier um, for people to know what they want and know what they're getting into. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much what they're doing with the breaks. So let's move into the next announcement. Okay guys, and one of the major announcements that they recently made is that they're looking to launch these live events and in-person events. Um, I think this, again, this is huge. Um, I think they said they said it's it's not only going to be sports cards, but it's going to be collectibles, fashion, designer clothing, um, like kind of similar to what Comic Con is, um, because I think Comic Con is definitely um, has a sort of a newer style where some of these sports card shows are stuck back in the '90s. Um, so again, this is a big thing too, and like I said, I think Fanatics is going to be great for the hobby. I think there's going to be a lot of things that they bring to the hobby. Um, I know some. I I know like. Working at a store, there's positives and negatives to Fanatics coming in the hobby. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, overall, I think it's going to be a good decision, and I'm very happy that they are taking over. Okay, guys, and before I make uh, the last announcement on Fanatics, I figured I'd show you some of the singles that I'm putting out. Um, right now in store, we're having a 20% off all singles, so if you're in the Burlington area, be sure to come down, and that is Burlington, Canada, of course. I've had a few people message me asking if it's Burlington. I think it's Iowa or maybe somewhere in the U.S. There's another Burlington, but yes, we're in Canada, so that's also why some of our prices are in Canada. But like I said, 20% off all the singles, and I think it's 20% off all Magic the Gathering as well with the new Lord of the Rings set. Um, that's been pretty popular, so let me show you guys quickly some of the new singles that I'm putting out in the $5 to $30 box, and then two more expensive singles that I'm putting out. Okay guys, starting off, we just got a few cheap Overtime Elite Autos. Uh, nice Brady um, Prism, I think this is 2018. Yeah, 2018. Um, Otani Gold Cup, Otani and Trout, Judge Future Stars, a few of those. Otani and Ichiro, this is a really, really cool card. And then for hockey, we got a bunch, because hockey's a big seller. Kaprizov Patch, um, Crosby Numbered, Carlson Patch, and then just a few other rookie stuff. And then we recently opened up one of those Topps Crumb Tennis Boxes, and we didn't hit much, so we hit like a, a Billy Jean King Black and White Diamond. Uh, it's exclusive to the Hobbies. Um, but yeah, that is all the singles for the $5 to $30 box, which is right here. But some of the bigger ones, we got an Emmett Smith one of one pre-production auto, and an Anthony Volpe auto. This is out of three, I think. And uh, he's not playing great, but he's a Yankee and he's young, so he'll do fine. And yeah, let's get into the last announcement, announcement Sorry for Fanatics. Okay guys, and the last announcement for uh, Fanatics is that this happened about a month or two ago, but they did buy PWCC. So for some of you guys that don't know, PWCC is one of the biggest um, auction houses, online buying sites for, uh, for high-end sports cards. And uh, it's, it's really big to know that Fanatics bought this because it shows that they're really going all in when it comes to the sports card hobby. They're looking to expand a ton and they're looking to make it a lot easier for people to buy and sell sports cards. Obviously, PWCC were getting some complaints before they sold about not shipping, um, different cards not getting there, not how they were promised. So it's really good that Fnatic scooped in and bought this and took that opportunity to expand. And I think, yeah, this, this is only gonna be good for the hobby um, as they continue to expand and expand into further things. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Um, let me know what you guys think about Fnatic taking over. Let me know if you think it's gonna be good, if you think it's gonna be bad. Um, just pretty much give me your thoughts. Um, also, give me your thoughts on what you want for the next videos coming up. Uh, me personally, I'm really looking forward to Fnatic's taking over. I think uh, they can fix a lot of things in the hobby and kind of make it more, what's the word, inviting for uh, the new generation of collectors. And yeah, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos like this. And you guys all have a nice day.